Hello everyone, welcome to the Singtel Digital Silvers program. My name is Ke Yi and I'll be your virtual guide on your journey to become digital citizens. Today's topic is about how to read the news on your phone so that you can keep up to date with the current affairs in Singapore and abroad. We will talk about how to access the different online sources of news articles to the NLB mobile library app which provides access to the Straits Times, the Business Times and other local newspapers in different languages. So sit back, relax and whip out your smartphones so that you can follow along with the lesson. The National Library Board has an app that you can download to read news for free. From the Play Store, simply search for NLB. Select NLB Mobile and click Install. Click Open to go to the app directly. When you open the NLB Mobile app, you will be prompted to sign in. You can still use the app without an account, but you will need to register for a free account to read newspaper articles. I will click on Register here and sign up for a free account using my SingPass. When you have completed your registration successfully, you can go back to the login screen and sign in with your username and password. The app will first ask you for your display name. Next, you can select your preferred libraries and swipe up to dismiss these stories. Now I'm at the main app screen. To read newspaper articles online, I can select e-newspapers and e-magazines at the top right corner. However, this will require downloading another press reader app to access international newspapers and magazines. To read local newspapers for free, let's go back to the main page and select SPH newspapers. Click on Proceed and the web page will be opened. There are a variety of newspapers available here. If I select the Straits Times, I can now read today's edition of the Straits Times newspaper. To adjust the text size, I can zoom in and out using two fingers. When I'm fully zoomed out, I can swipe to the left to go to the next page or right to go to the previous page. If I tap anywhere, I can bring up the navigation menu where I can easily skip to certain sections or pages in the newspaper. For example, I can easily go to the Singapore section or I can choose the sports or life section. I can also select the pages that I want to read directly. To go to a different day's paper, I can click on the calendar icon at upper right and select the days from here. Thanks for sticking around till the end of the video. I hope this has been helpful in teaching you about the basic settings and functionalities of your phone. Don't forget that you can always rewind to certain sections or pause the video if you were unable to follow along the first time around. Lastly, be sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe and feel free to check out the rest of the videos in this series. See you next time!